you've ever wondered what it's like to drive a 100 horsepower long travel suspension off-road power wheels Jeep, let me tell you it is out of this world. The Grindhard Plumbing Company boys and the Go Fast Campers team stopped by the shop this weekend for a bit of a pop-up event and it was a much welcome change of pace. Now needless to say, this is not your standard Stanceworks episode, but I think you guys are going to enjoy it nonetheless because it's got everything you've come to expect and then some. So let's dive into it for a weekend of Stanceworks shop hangs. This one-of-a-kind machine is known as Colonel Senders, and it was built by the boys over at the Grindhard Plumbing Company YouTube channel. And it might look like a Power Wheels Jeep, but trust me when I say it's anything but. For starters, it's got a 1000cc KTM V-twin engine sticking out of the hood attached to a tube chassis frame with long travel suspension. The 22-inch off-road ATV tires have 12 inches of suspension travel, and all four of them are driven thanks to a transfer case that sits in the middle of the tube chassis. It's got shocks with adjustable damping, a six-speed transmission, power steering, and disc brakes. To call this a masterclass in engineering is nothing but an understatement. And for a bit of proof of that, here's Ethan clearing a staggering 46 feet in distance in Colonel Senders. However, it's not all fun and games when it comes to this machine. Colonel Senders and the Grindhard boys showed up with a broken drive shaft. This rendered the maniacal power wheels immobile, requiring some repairs in the stance work shop. The Go Fast Campers pop-up event brought a crowd to the shop, leaving Ethan to pull the transfer case with spectators over his shoulder. But nevertheless, he made quick work of the job and got the transfer case out and on the workbench so that he can better explain exactly what it needs. Ye old transfer case, complete with both drive shafts. So we are fixing this. Um, CV, uh, top, top end of the drive shaft that attaches to the engine. Um, and it's not actually blown up. It just came apart because I made the shaft too short and all the balls went away. So um, basically we just have to clean it up a little bit because it's all kind of scraped up and messed up from flying apart at high speed. And then throw some new balls in it and then lengthen the shaft. So, since we have access to good tools, we're gonna use them. Um, <laughs> well, in the back. Um, so, what we have to do here is cut this weld and then tap this shaft out a little bit and re-weld it. So, we're gonna go ahead and just pull this whole drive shaft out of its cup and then throw it in the lathe, turn it down, and then re-weld it. The method for disassembly may be less than elegant, but it's entirely effective. Go. And within a few minutes, Ethan had the drive shaft chucked up in the lathe and ready to be machined down. With a bit of persuasion, the inner and outer shafts were separated, allowing Ethan to extend the drive shaft by about an inch. This additional length makes sure that the bearings inside the CV joint can't escape, ultimately preventing this problem from happening again in the future. Normally, here's where I'd say you should subscribe to my channel if you're liking the content, but instead, you should check out the Grindhard Plumbing Company channel if you haven't seen it yet. Head over there, watch some of their videos, and subscribe if you want to support fellow creators just like me. I already wear my fingerprints on my It is, yeah. Let's take a little light. Yeah, warm up my jerky. Yeah. Uh, drive shop. <laughs> With everything welded up, it's time for final reassembly and installing our new ball bearings. Almost ready to put it back in. We'll see if it works. Um, two of the balls, ball bearings are uh, a couple thousandths loose, actually 20 thousandths, give or take. Um, but that's better than not having them at all. So put them on opposite sides, see what happens. So while Ethan reassembled Colonel Senders, I decided to head outside and take a look at the trucks that were ascending our Go Fast Campers pop-up event. 
Of course, there was the latest grindhard build, the Ultimate Off-Road Tesla, complete with wild tube bumpers and one of the most impressive pieces of tube work I've ever seen, an incredible roof rack holding up not only a GoFast tent, but one of their other wild Power Wheels builds. There were also a number of beautiful trucks in the parking lot, almost every single one of them equipped with a GoFast camper. And if you're not familiar, the GoFast is my own camper of choice. You've seen it in the previous off-roading videos here on the channel. And not only do I love the people behind the brand, I love the fact that these tents are American-made and are without question some of the best tents money can buy. And I challenge you to find a camper company that can bring together a group of people like this. I'll be waiting. Back in the shop, Ethan was wrapping up the installation of the transfer case and all was going according to plan, minus some welding that needed to happen thanks to some missed order of operations. Well, got it all back together. Uh, time to see if it'll start back up and drive forward because it was never not running, but it was definitely not driving. Ethan and the Grindhard boys are some of the best people I've met in ages, so I was more than happy to let them set up camp in the shop overnight. The presence of their wild builds inside of the shop was a pleasant thing to walk into on a Monday morning. After a little bit of shop talk and some much needed breakfast, it was time for the Grindhard boys to get a start on their day. After all, they have some big plans. Alright, so it's next morning, the guys are rested up. And it sounds like they're about to head up to Hoonigan to shoot an episode, which would be pretty sweet. I'm uh, bummed I'm going to miss out on what they're doing there, but I've got stuff I've got to work on here at the shop. It sounds like they're going to load up the trailer, but before they do that, we're going to send Colonel Senders off with a bit of uh, an in-shop burnout. So let's get loaded up and then spin some tires. With 100 horsepower on tap and a ton of weight transfer, it took a few tries before we get the Colonel to sit in place with the tires spinning. But after slicking down the floor under the rear tires, we wound up with this. So the smoke's settling. The guys are finally going to load up. It sounds like they're going to let me take uh, Colonel Senders for a quick drive around the parking lot. I'm not going to turn that down because who would? And uh, yeah, with that one, we're going to wrap this one up. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for uh, hanging out at the shop this weekend. And yeah. for, it's for, been a blast. Yeah, everything. It's been a, a ton of fun. So hopefully yeah. we'll do something again in the future. 100%. Yeah. Thanks for, you know, providing a space for us to fix stuff and letting us, you know, camp in the shop last night. So absolutely. It's yeah, been I, super fun. Thanks a lot. You're Anytime awesome. guys come back. These guys have been <laughs> awesome to have here. Hopefully we'll do something again in the future. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys at the end of the week.